Hello, thank you so much for tuning in to talk about Canva today. I am so excited to talk about Canva. My name is Tiffany Stoiber. I've been using Canva now for several years. I have about 10 years of total graphic design experience using tools like Canva or Adobe. And I am really excited about this tool because it's totally online. You don't need to download anything to use it. It's super approachable. So if you have no graphic design experience or if you have years and years of graphic design experience, this can be a great tool for you or your students. So let's just dive in. Let's check it out. If you haven't seen Canva before, uh, that way you can see what it looks like and all of the great opportunities that it has inside of it. Uh, so I'm going to open up Google Chrome here. All right. So this window uh, is what Canva looks like when you log in. Right now I'm showing uh, just my personal free account so you can see the total breadth of things that you can do even if you're not paying money to use this service. Uh, you can pick any number of uh, these different templates or uh, projects that they sort of jump started for you. So the cool thing about these is they are already sized to be exactly what you need, uh, depending on the project. So, you know, the presentation will make that screen size already for you. A resume, if you click this, it will create something that is U.S. letter size. So it's ready to, you know, print out on your printer and go into an interview on. Uh, one great way that I really like uh, using this for an educational setting is the infographics uh, templates that they have. So I've pulled up one of those. It automatically sizes it for you if you pick infographic as a project. And you can pick from a whole bunch of different uh, templates here. So here's one that I picked. Uh, if you wanted this to not be pink, you could click on it and you can change that color to any different color. Um, you can all of this is text, so all you got to do is, you know, double click in there and you can start typing anything else that you might want. Um, Canva actually has some really cool uh, tools or specific graphics for displaying data. So if you are talking about uh, research or, um, you know, anything that's, you know, quantitative like that, uh, you can actually... This uh, is a really great example for uh, how to use this, but you can actually click in. Uh, so I changed this to corn a little bit ago. You can make it people. You can uh, you know, adjust how many items are filled, how many are empty. Uh, with this percentage graph here, you can change uh, what the percentage is that you're showing off. Uh, Canva's tools for using charts and graphs are really cool too. So you can input your data right here and it will make that chart for you. Uh, same thing with this bar chart over here. Um, tons of different options, you know, if you don't want all these different series and you just want, you know, singular bar charts, uh, totally customizable there as well. Uh, really, really great way to show off your data and a great tool to have integrated in that infographic already. Um, even this template even has a place to put your references in. So a uh, super easy tool for your students to uh, get in there, use to create an infographic. What I love is when uh, professors will uh, assign an infographic instead of uh, something just like, hey, summarize the reading for this week or, you know, ask a question from the reading and, you know, get discussion going. This is a really great way for um them to actually take what they're learning and then, you know, condense it in a really uh, eloquent way. You know, it really uh, gets them thinking about what they read and how to, you know, explain what they read as opposed to just, you know, kind of copying some text maybe. Uh, this gets them to think about how would I display this visually and what are the most important things uh, from what I've learned that I want to make sure on this infographic. So really great way to use that. Um, Again, another great example is a presentation. So presentations are something that are in plenty of curriculums already and syllabi, um, but I really love Canva's tool for presentations because there's so many different uh, designs to choose from. This is just a template that I selected. I clicked and I drug my own photos into this. Um, you can you know, upload your own photos. If you have photos you already want to use, you can use Canva's elements they already have in. So I've started to search for a soccer ball here. You can see that some of these are only available with the pro membership, but there are still plenty of free uh, images to use. So if I click on the soccer ball, oh, look, that looks great. If I do click on one that is pro only, it will watermark it. 
Uh, so again, would not recommend using that for a project, uh, but there are plenty of other options. So say I want this soccer ball, click, drag into that slot. Super easy. It's in there. It's ready to go. Um, all of these different slides that I had, I used uh, different to, uh, slides already in the template for, just put in my own information. So really quick, easy to build, looks super nice. Uh, you can actually present straight from Canva. Another great tool uh, for presentations or really any uh, projects that you're working on in Canva is you can collaborate. So here's my little account here. I can press the plus button and I can add somebody else to this account or to this project. So they don't even need a specific email address like with uh, Google Sheets or Google Slides. Um, you can just add them in and we can work on that simultaneously. Once you're done with a project, it's really, really easy to share as well. I'll go to share here. I'll click download and I can select uh, whatever I want to export that as. So I could make this a video. I could make it just a JPEG if that's something that I want to upload straight into a Canvas discussion board. Maybe I want to export it as a PDF because uh, uploading the presentation was a part of an assignment. Uh, so really, really integrative there. All I do is press download, go straight to my computer, and then I've got a file I can upload. So, so approachable, so many ways that you could use this in an educational setting. Um, it's really great opportunity to let your students be creative and to display what they're learning in some unorthodox ways that, you know, depending on the student might be easy for, easier for them to communicate with. It might stretch their minds to need to communicate this in a different sort of way. So lots of great opportunities here. Thank you so much for uh, just spending some time talking about Canva. I love this tool and I hope that you will too.